Inverted Earth, here we go. I obviously have no idea what to expect here. All the capitals are currently islands, and then these countries all have what our world would see as their sea territories. So France has this stuff. They're also going to have to expand their island to touch that, and that's not going to be a problem. It's going to be real interesting for the places like the Caspian Sea or the Black Sea. They're going to have to kind of like island hop their way through basically the Asian Ocean. Is that what it's now called? Japan looks like they're going to be working with a lot over here. They have all of the Pacific. But then again, Russia's going to eat up a lot of the northern part. Australia is looking to get probably a majority of the Indian Ocean. They're definitely going to cut off New Zealand, unfortunately for them. Also, some places have rivers like the Mississippi down the U.S. There's also the Nile, which cuts straight down Africa and some pretty big ones in South America. I have no idea what's going to happen here, to be honest. Let's go ahead and watch as the territories expand over our oceans, but I guess it's their land now. This is actually kind of weirdly beautiful. I'm liking, I'm liking this. So pretty much all of the northern hemisphere has been eaten up. It's just a race for the southern hemisphere. Look at how much Chile's going. Chile's got a bunch and so does Australia. Australia's already fighting with New Zealand. That never happens. And they're actually, they're kicking New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand has no money. Oh, you guys really messed up. Okay, well, they're gone. This is really tripping me out, just like looking at this. The U.S. is looking okay, but I mean, not that great. All oh, the Australians are actually already going after Western Sahara. Honduras conquered Belize. We actually have a lot of people conquered. Yemen, Oman, Latvia, and Sudan instantly getting oofed. It's probably going to be extremely easy to take out a lot of these nations because they're just islands, especially these ones in the Asian Ocean. I mean, they don't have much power at all. Sea territory doesn't really mean much. This is an extremely colorful world. Australia is still gathering up this corner. I think Australia has immediately ran away as the number one power. And yeah, if we look at land area, actually, you know, it's pretty close with Chile. They're doing pretty all right. This is the one time Russia doesn't start far and away as number one in terms of area. U.S. is four, Canada is fifth. Okay, those are pretty normal. We just saw the death of Kyrgyzstan as well as the death of Thailand. It's just Cambodia and Vietnam now and basically Southeast Asia, the Southeast Asia Sea or whatever. Philippines are allied to a Japan up this way. I completely forgot to take a look at the alliance map mode. There's actually not too many friendships going on, at least not super big ones. Madagascar and Somalia. Also, uh, Greece is cool with uh, Saudi Arabia. Oh, wow. Look at this weird land. I just realized the, uh, the Red Sea and the uh, Persian Gulf. These are like weird peninsulas that are going on. I forgot that this is land. Uzbekistan was conquered by Pakistan. Another African nation died. There's a lot to uh, take out. I mean, there's a lot to clean up right here. A lot of really small powers with not that much territory. Technically, Russia has the most money, but that might drastically change. Ooh, I just now just realize it's going to be pretty hard to get to some of these capitals, like the Russian capital. They have all this territory and kind of a hidden away Moscow. I mean, the U.S. is kind of hidden away, but if you take their uh, eastern territory, then, you know, D.C. is right there. Look at Brazil now that I think about it. Brazil's looking nicely packed in there. That's going to be tough to fight through these one blocks. That won't be fun for AI. We have South Africa moving in after Madagascar. Actually, with a win here, South Africa could really pull away, at least jump into the top uh, three. They're not going to do that, though. Looks like the front has stopped moving. The Netherlands was conquered by Germany. Uh, Berlin, I don't even, I can't even tell what's going on over here in Europe. Because there's so many capitals they've squeezed in on these islands. Liberia was taken out by the Ivory Coast and uh, the land is getting eaten up. So there, there it is. Canada moving in after Portugal. Portugal's looking much better than uh, Spain is. Although Spain had these islands that really helped them get some more in the Atlantic territory. The Atlantic land. It, what do we call these continents? Is this just one giant continent? Albania was just taken out. Also, uh, Greece is moving in after an Italy. Obviously, if you're landlocked here, um, you did not join the world, I don't think. No, I'm pretty sure you did not, but a lot of nations did. I think in order to have made the map, you need to have some sort of coastal territory. Technically, Bosnia has coastal territory, but they did not make the map. They have like 11 miles in the real world. Man, Australia is looking really good over here, but they don't have any friends yet, so we'll keep an eye on that. I, well, they do have one friend. I don't know why they're allied to Cambodia, but there you go. Honduras, Lebanon, Brunei have all recently been taken out. Australia is still firmly in number one, but Chile is still right on their tail. Actually, Chile's starting to lose a lot because Peru is not messing around. Peru is now riding their llamas into battle somewhere in the Pacific land area. Actually, Peru might slowly be losing a little bit. Oh, Peru is actually, oh wait, no, I think this is Chile going to take over Bolivia. There goes Bolivia. So Chile is getting slowly bigger. Oh, they did peace out. Pakistan was just conquered by India, which India has a lot of work to do. Estonia took out Finland. What kind of weird world is this? Oh, I forgot that the Baltic Sea, the Baltic 
Baltic Sea is now like a weird land thing. The Estonians are gonna have to push through Russia if they really want more land, or I guess they can go this way through like Denmark. We now have Mexico moving in after Costa Rica. A lot of weird things happening in Central America, but uh, some of the islands clearly have already been eaten. US was going in after the, Beha the Bahamas, the Bahamas, and the UK was just conquered by France. There was a weird uh, British lake that was going on here, and uh, I guess without the English Channel, France got most of the English Channel land. They just got the island. They're allied to Belgium too. Is it even possible for some of these smaller middle powers to win at this point? I mean, the outside powers are just so massive. Ooh, Chile now fighting both Ecuador and Peru once again. Interesting team that Brazil has with Uruguay and Argentina. The map has obviously cut off Antarctica, but could you imagine the, the interesting circular lake they have now down here in the uh, South Pole? Uh, Croatia was just taken out by Tunisia. Slowly, ooh, and now we have Spain moving in after Portugal from both sides too. They have the help of, is this Morocco? It is Morocco. If Canada joins it, oh my goodness, Portugal just made so many people mad. What did you do, Portugal? It's like a big old coalition for them. I think they were the number one European power technically, or it could be Norway as well. There is less than a hundred nations left. I don't even know how many nations we started off with. Probably about a hundred, maybe a little bit over that. What is Turkey going to do with their Black Island? It's no longer the Black Sea, it's the Black Island. And the Caspian Island, on the other hand, shared by three different powers, or is this four? Wow, this is a lot. Brazil fighting four different African powers, though they're powerful. This is still a lot. And, oh, these guys are getting donations from other African coastal nations. I guess all these countries are technically coastal nations in this world because they had to have started close close enough to the coast. Does that even make sense? I don't, I don't know. Ooh, China just wiped out the Philippines. And did they take out, wait, this is, this is China. Where did Japan go? Japan also was eliminated by China. Costa Rica was finally eliminated. Panama having a pretty good spot in Central America. Does this world build now like a bridge instead of the Panama Canal? Also, I'm assuming it's like the same for the Suez kind of. Still, this map's tripping me out. This also could be like, you could think of this scenario as like we nuked all the land into oblivion and now all humans have to like live on this water world. This is like water maritime civilizations. Does that even make sense? Again, I don't know. This this map's hurting my head. Ecuador was eliminated. Greece was eliminated. Turkey was eliminated. Portugal's still going, but they are... Oh, smart Portugal. You became friends with Spain and Morocco, who are giving you a lot of trouble. Now we have France. Oh, I forgot about French Guyana. France. So France has a couple territories all around. Good thing these AIs are allowed to have enclaves, or else this would be really confusing. Russia is now fighting Papua New Guinea. Ooh, and now Australia is getting involved with that. Chile has actually passed up uh, Australia as the number one nation. Russia is close behind, though, now. South Africa not doing too bad either. That's a new power kind of in the top. 10 that we don't normally see. Indonesia, unfortunately, is kind of squeezed in here. They've got a lot of Indonesian lakes they can use. Well, I don't really know how useful those are going to be, but whatever. Man, France is surrounded on all sides. What did you do, France, to piss this many people off? They are cool with Norway, though. Canada and the U.S. are allied. There's definitely going to be some interesting unions coming up here. There's going to be some uniting that happens. Love this weird uh, snake land that Egypt has that is like the Nile. They're sharing that with Atreya down this way. Also, Uganda is like an archipelago inside of Africa. Ukraine was just conquered by Rome. Romania. Romania seems to be doing very good controlling most of the Black Island as well as the uh, Adriatic uh, island and Mediterranean. I, these aren't islands, I guess. They're peninsulas. The Mediterranean Peninsula, that's how I should say it. I have to rename all this stuff now. The U.S. is now going after it. Mexico and Chile. Oh, are they allied to each other? Ooh, USA is going to give Chile a lot of problems, I think. Chile should probably think about attacking Argentina. Even though they're allied to Uruguay and Brazil, um, they're not going to be able to contribute much to that war. They could probably fight them one-on-one. -on -one. We just lost Indonesia. Australia was successful in that war, so Australia might have taken back that number one spot in terms of area. No, but they are number two. It's actually Russia again, number one. Doesn't look like they're number one. Doesn't look like they have that much, but I guess they do. Tanzania was just destroyed by Uganda. Uganda's looking to, oh, this is actually Kenya. Uganda's got a bunch of islands in here. France, again, fighting a lot of foes. They do still have their home territory, their uh, Paris Island. I just realized we have like a Berlin Island, a uh, Warsaw Island. Bunch of weird ones. Moscow Island. They're all like tropical paradises now. Ooh, Brazil versus South Africa. Somehow Mexico is still going. Also, Mexico has a very good amount of the Rio Grande River or Le Rio Grande Land Bridge. Can I say that? About time East Timor. I can't believe East Timor was still going. Australia is trying to eliminate the Solomon Islands, but they can't. Malaysia is still surviving. Oh, they're allied to Australia. Malaysia might be kind of difficult because these lakes are going to be hard to move through. China and Russia might be getting into it soon. China only allied to North Korea, of course. Like this peninsula out of Iran. They also have a bit of... Um, 
the Caspian Sea island. I keep forgetting what that what these even are called. Isn't this kind of just a river at this point? Because it squeezes down. It gets so thin around Panama. This is just like the Panama River. Jamaica. I forgot about all the nations in the Caribbean, which, oh my, okay, well, there they go. Panama's not doing bad. They've got some good allies, Mexico and Chile. Spanish-speaking South America teaming up. Oh, maybe not anymore because Argentina's fighting. Cameroon just eliminated, I think that was the Ivory Coast and Ghana at the same time. Angola now moving in after Brazil. There goes Russia after China. Romania is still going. Again, Romania also is going to be difficult to take over. I mean, if they just get a bigger chunk of land, that's the biggest problem for them. They have to get, like, bigger stuff. But I really do like the nations that have, like, hidden away islands. I guess France in that way. But as long as they stay allied to Belgium, if that alliance breaks down, that could be a problem. Norway is still not doing too bad. Brazil actually exploded through the Amazon. They're actually jumping through the island. They got to the Pacific Ocean, surprisingly. The Pacific land. The Pacific continent, that's what I should say. And then this is the Atlantic continent. But in the Atlantic continent, they are still worried about these African nations. These African powers, I was trying to say. Of course, the world is completely allied to one another. They mostly are regionally allied. There's there's regional conflicts going on here. Cyprus was finally eliminated by Libya. I completely forgot Libya was even here. Actually, Libya has a majority of the eastern part of the Mediterranean landmass. This is the subcontinent of the Mediterranean. I think that's a good way to put it. It's like the Indian subcontinent, which India is still here, although they've gotten themselves into a pretty big war against Malaysia and Australia. Chile has now taken back that number one spot. Australia is two, the U.S. is four. Three and Russia's four. Okay, well, never mind. Never mind. I should have just left it at that. Oh my goodness! There goes the fall of Chile. That was the that was a huge power. So now we have Argentina looking pretty good, and Argentina just uh, they both. Wow, that's evil. Argentina and Brazil both backstabbed Uruguay. That's so sad. I noticed something about Uruguay. Most people love a lot of South American countries like Uruguay. Clearly, maybe that's not to be trusted in these situations. The nations will backstab them. Argentina has now jumped into the a fourth place position. So it is now Argentina and Brazil versus South. Africa and Namibia. Luckily, South Africa doesn't have to worry about their flank too much since they're allied to Madagascar for now, but of course, these alliances change a lot. China is still trying to single handedly fight Russia. The problem is, Russia is going to be hard to take out again because it's going to be hard to get to, to their island. There needs to be a power that grows out of Europe because someone's got to do some naval island hopping to Moscow. Look at Poland go, where Poland really just has like a couple of pixels of land, really. France is still not eliminated. They have a bunch of random enclaves. Most of the Pacific continent is held by, well, at least like this side of the Pacific continent is held by the U.S. This side of the Pacific continent, it is a little bit more divided. Wow, Malaysia's literally, they were surrounded there. <laughs> That's not a situation you want to find yourself in, but Australia is feeding the money. Australia still has a lot of money, too. Not the most, though, that is Argentina. Argentina is the richest nation on Earth. Then it's Norway and Brazil and South Africa. The U.S. was moving in after Mexico. I didn't even realize how good Colombia is doing. I guess Colombia got a lot out of, the, out of the collapse of the Chilean Empire. And another good thing about Colombia, oh, they've actually moved their capital. I'm not sure if this is really a good thing, because that's not a position you really want to find yourself in. Very easy to get to. Well, now Colombia is moving in after Argentina and Brazil. Oh, we finally have some unification. Australia just ate all of Malaysia. That's huge. Easily number one empire in terms of land is Australia now. Did Colombia just backstab their ally Mexico? That's, I don't know if that was a good idea. Or someone backstabbed another. I don't know. We're actually getting down to maybe only like seven alliances at this point. I just totally threw that number out there. I don't know if we're at a seven alliances. It looks like it. And there it goes. Of course it happened. The U.S. just annexed Canada. Are they, oh, I was going to say, the Solomon Islands are going to be in trouble here because they're going to have to fight two. Oh my goodness, who just defeated Russia? That was Libya. Libya finally ended Russia. Russia by just moving through these islands like I kept saying someone needed to do. This is going to completely change everything. Oh my goodness, is Norway going to get all of this? Norway and the Solomon Islands. Now the problem for the Solomon Islands is they're close to a very powerful uh, empire. That's Australia. Australia can get to this capital if they really want to. Norway now is a really big force to be taken seriously though. Pretty big force. Australia is far away the number one power. I think they keep annexing people. Solomon Islands are now number two though. Oh, look at India go. India is actually four. Ooh, Australia is actually not looking so good. They are actually dangerously close to, from losing their capital. Things are getting really interesting in Oceania. I don't think I've ever said that. Spain and Portugal still going. They're just fighting the U.S. though. Ooh, U.S. just lost D.C. Crazy. Uh, Portugal and Brazil now finally touch borders. That never happens either. Father and son coming together. Oh, Norway actually might uh, finally end the Port the Iberian alliance basically that was w working out. And Portugal is dangerously close to another capital. I think this is Toronto. They moved their capital to Toronto now. This is what the world looks like. There is currently, there's eight 18 nations left. It doesn't look like there's 18 nations left, but it's probably because there's a ton of islands still around. The U.S. is still number one in terms of area. Then it's the Solomon Islands. Now it's India and Australia going back and forth. Is finally Colombia going to go down? I think Colombia just ran out of money, or they basically did. The U.S. has now had to move their capital to the Mexico City Island because Portugal continues to get more and more stuff over here. This is a really interesting three-way alliance these three have.
have. Oh, but now if Brazil and all the U.S. team up, that would be big. They might be able to defeat the middle powers. If the U.S. annexes Brazil or unionizes with Brazil, I think this game is going to be over. It's definitely possible to. The Solomon Islands are literally going to take, they are going to take this capital. They are really close. And there it goes, but they did move it. Oh, they didn't even get to move it that far. How'd they move it here? I guess they can just move it anywhere because they're at that level of power. Oh, the U.S. backstab Brazil. Oh, the U.S. is actually working with Portugal and Norway now. Oh, there's a four-way alliance. Oh, look at this huge purple team. Let's see how long that lasts. At the end game, people love to get out of alliances like this. Yeah, Brazil is definitely going down. Wait, this is Peru. I'm sorry. How long have I been calling them Brazil for? I've been calling them Brazil for a long time. Did they annex? Oh, Brazil's here. Wait, who is this then? This is that... That, okay, I think Peru is just an island. I don't know why they're still around. Solomon Islands, India, the United States, Brazil, Portugal, and Norway. The only ones that really have a chance. Yeah, there's a ton of islands out there. Pretty much a massive world war playing out. Well, besides all these ones in the middle that are just trying to survive, I think. And there goes Norway. Norway's trying to back their capital up, but it's not going to work. But in turn, there goes Portugal. Some really weird alliance map mode. And there goes the USA. It is now between Brazil and the Solomon Islands once again. I believe the Solomon Islands have already got a win. At least, I think Brazil and the Solomon Islands have gotten at least one win each. Everyone in the middle is still not in the greatest spot. Oh, Tunisia, is, they're just an island. I don't even know how much the Solomon Islands have at this point. They are running out of money very fast. I can't even move. We're at like three frames a second. There are people trying to give some money away, though. The powers in the middle are making a small difference. Who is Mongolia even fighting? Well, Mongolia's got a lot of money. Mongolia is actually making a comeback here because uh, the Solomon Islands have collapsed pretty much. Their economy is done. Mongolia is not going to be able to compete with Brazil, but they have quite a bit of land here. Brazil has now moved their capital inside of uh, Africa. Can we, like, end this as a, like, a dual team win? It's Brazil and Mongolia? Mongolia is just giving, like, their entire economy, everyone's giving their entire economy to Brazil. This is kind of beautiful. There's no reason for them to do that. I think it's probably because there's still random nation islands. This the game's kind of broken because of the way we did this, but <laughs> they're literally just, like, submitting. The, I guess they're asking to be a vassal by giving them all the money. I think this is a team win, in my opinion. Oh, someone just got annexed. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, in wait, India. Oh, India technically has a lot of gold, I see. It's like Brazil, Mongolia, India, somewhat, even though not Brazil is attacking Mongolia. Mongolia pretty much just allowed themselves to die because they gave all their money away. Well, there you go. Winner of Inverted Earth is actually Brazil. The oceans are coming to Brazil, that's for sure. And big thanks to my patrons. Destiny Drew Ducker, Ducker 9, the Cartographer. Sebi, if you hear Subscribe this, I love to Drew now. I am the kidnapper. Uh, fat I Norwal. moved to Drew Carmel since S. no one pays Inquisitor ransom. Inquisitor Zarius. Is now Marino is best AI. girl. Luxembourg 5610. Robert. E, Rye the Pie, the Great Ralphie, the Mexican Twicken 760, Zane John Boy, Denver, Glad Ryan, and Dad, Jack Traven's annoying friend, and why am I doing this?